because I'm trying to draw the list. I'm having a summer adventure. Let's put this T down. I'm going to repair... Um, which floor am I on? I'm going to repair this floor, yes. Remove the lockdown. Right. Have a big old investigate. Around here. Alright. So I still don't get why everyone's losing their heads. Yes, indeed. Um, so let's see if this tells me. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. I don't know what Delenda Est means. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Well, I witnessed that. So, documents. The Tower evacuation. On September the 13th, Vic O'Claire ordered the staff at Tower to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with the engineer, Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following the protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tower. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down. Omega Sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I heard screaming over the short-range radio. It carried on, <coughs> breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon a lacerated body of field worker Espinosa. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tau and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber, left the people at Tau to their fate. There's some uh, calf notes. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau uh, and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disrupt uh, disturbances. What? There's disrupt. Just. Dis yeah, disturbances, John. That's just a simple word. I, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop the Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Ames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climate to st stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Luma probes. It's a good thing that Golaski is off site because I have a feeling he would not approve. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the... Wow. Carthage. Stuart Adal, Johan Ross and Mark Sarang. There's some images. There we go. So look at that. Lovely. That's what she looked like when she had a head. Alright, let's go into the 
kitchen. So there's anything in the fridge. Oh. Fair enough, I guess it could work like that if you wanted. Pan! That's not fun. Rice. Spinach. Well, I think of your spinach. Um, well, well, let's continue looking around. Then. Oh, fine. In for a penny, in for a pound, eh? Hmm. I should consider that it breaks power. Sorry, I cut ahead by about a second. <coughs> Let's go to the other side, shall we? Oh, we might, we might want to consider not sapping the power from everywhere. Ooh, what are these things? Ooh. Oh, maybe that's why it's cutting the heads off. Oh, we'll just come back. For the time being. Um. I haven't found anything useful yet. Well, I'll try and go past the dude. not make my job easy. That's what I, I am, right? One of those suits, but with gear at the top. Maybe not. No, I don't want to grab that. I want to. Really hard time finding what I'm supposed to be looking for. Just 
where I came from, right? I'll get that. I'll try to go through here again. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I can't find anything to do in this area. Oh, there we go. Oh. That pack is near. Uh, high performance rechargeable lithium soft packs. Standard uh, SV connection uh, energy power. Machine tools, rigs, power suits. But they're not here. So, where are they? I'll be paying more attention. Hmm. I want a proper look around here, but there's a dude being a bastard in the way. Found, found it, but there's a dude in the way. It's important. Well, those extra lives I got probably came good. Uh, what? Probably came good. No, we have one thing. I think I want to actually be here, do I? I don't know. Hmm. Good man is to die in the clean room. So the structure gel has been charged. Oh, gel! It's been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied the circuits, it could help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity but functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the Wyom has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense when applied to something more complicated. It causes the gel to act as a cancer upon host eventually ruining it 
Uh, we could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Pathology by uh, Jacob. Jacob. Uh, Harpering. Applied gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive, but it was put in the same habitat as the living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. At 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse. Get the virus, it tells me. The mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reimagined mouse was stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel and hardened within it. Progress. The reanimated another mouse with destructive gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker to avoid the thing hardening as before. Electromagnets are used to cause low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us with the ability. It's its oriole nightmare. Flashed up on the screen. Uh, the ability to somewhat control it. Chemical analysis. The structure gel remains unchanged on our fundamental level. It's still the same crosslink gel with the aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout the Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but the controller. The wow. The gel has not been taken on any new properties. The wow simply uses it in the ways that we would never even have dreamed of in the study results. Overwhelming evidence concludes <coughs> that I should take a sip of drink. We have to stop it, says the screen. I'm working on it. Mysterious interference. Uh, overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the wilds via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to the charge gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say that it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing. Destroy the wow, apparently. Uh, it looks like it's going to make things easier f for us to survive. Well, I think you may have been wrong about that, I'm afraid. Never seen anything about speed. So this is uncalibrated gel. Right. Uh, not going to make it easy for me to get that gel. Cell one recording. There's the gel in action. Ah, so I can fix the chip. Cell not secure. Please close tray and try again. Dead Mouse, I heard that he's a reasonably good musician. this I kind of like to use fix the chip that I've got the gel. Lovely. Uh, I've got... I can't remember where it goes now. Oh, 
it is. Let's try that again. Wow. Right, there's two down. One to go. Poison the well? That seems like it would be a foolish thing to do. Ross? That was this floor. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I didn't mean to do this, but I appear to have accidentally solved the problem again. Open her up. Ooh, this looks like a puzzle. So. Of Cortex. Oh, look, it's a face like mine. Let's see. Oh, it just solved that immediately. Cool. Let's check out the rest of the place out. Oh, look. It's getting turned into a robot. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay then. Stay safe. Oh, I missed that last line. That's why I played it again. Ooh. 
Well, let's. We've got all the stuff, right? Let's go back. Let's figure out where back is. I can fix all this stuff just with the gel. Probably not a good idea to. For reasons. So, I'm trying to find the dive room, maybe? Hey Ross. I think this might be it's the wrong room, okay. It's the wrong room. Pass it. Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Right, let's get to work again. On the next episode. Oh, I, no, I don't, I don't want to tease you. Let's. Uh, oh, yes. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Still crazy. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Right. There we go. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change bottom. Yes, if you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Right. That's the easy one. That's everything. You yeah. can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have right. everything under control. So please, have a seat. And I'll let you go after this. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Huh. Let's go back there. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Yeah. What was that? No, I it just. Why was it still talking? 
It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Uh, right. I'm gonna let you go. I don't know which switch it wants me to hit. So I'm using this as an opportunity to save the game. Uh, so yes. I've been John Proxy on Channel John West. And I've been having a sober adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.